attend a lab class. I'm not going to say that every day we'll have a, a lab component. It could be that some days it will be a lecture for both the 8 and the 930 part. And it could be that we'll do lecture at 8 and then do a lab at the 930 section. So it's really going to depend on information we get covered, all right, and labs that need to be done. When we do a lab, if you have taken a lab class, all right, especially here at Reynolds, one of the things that we do, uh, we go over lab safety. And then we have a lab safety agreement. One of the things about lab for anatomy and physiology, in part one, I'm trying to think, I, I, we might dissect one time. Um, the majority of dissecting will be done in part two, because for our part one portion, we're, we're focusing on learning bones and muscles, all right? And a lot of that's going to be models, okay? Um, so if there's anything we ever do that might have some type of component to it that, you know, might uh, have the scalpel or whatever the case might be, okay? I'll always let you know, okay? And I'll always let you know the safety and so forth. But we do have to go through this fun um, lab safety video. How many of you have watched the lab safety video with us before? Okay. It's not all that bad, to be honest. But um, it, it, it's informative. And then once we're done, we will go over the um, lab safety agreement. For some reason, it doesn't want to hook up the volume through the speakers. I did not know that. That was my fault. I did not check it. So um, I will get maybe Wednesday we'll watch this. In the meantime, we can still go over the lab safety agreement. With the lab safety agreement, one thing to note, there are three pages. I need to get you guys to sign all three. Initial, well, I should say initial, each at the top of the page. On the back page, there is some information that I need for you to fill out, and I will need to get these back. Okay? So, as you look at it, one of the things that we talk about dress code. A lot of times when you see professors, how are they normally dressed? <laughs> Thank you. Depends on what department they're in. How about those of you who may have encountered science professors? <laughs> okay. Very good. All right. And You'll see me in jeans. The reason for that, if I have to, say, work on some chemicals, if I have to put together the specimens that are going to be dissected, 
One of the things I'm not going to do were nice clothes. All right. So that's why you're going to see me in my jeans, usually a comfortable top, comfortable shoes. Okay. So dress code. For the most part, for our course that we're doing now, you guys are okay. All right. If you come dressed up, that's fine, because chances are it's not going to be a lab that's going to require you to work with um, chemicals. If it does, I'll definitely, um, let's see, for the first part of anatomy and physiology, uh, I don't think, we're going to have some labs that deal with chemicals, but none of them are that bad. Salt solution, that sort of thing. Behavior, no horseplay. That's the best thing I can say. Um, lab is the time that you actually get to look at slides. That, for example, that's something that we will do a lot of in the first part. Um, work with the models. They're all around the room. You can see them. Nothing dangerous. All right. So for the most part, we're okay. Um, chemicals, I'll let you know. Uh, we don't have any living specimens. We'll do, if anything, we'll do um, preserved. The experiment itself, what's the best way to prepare for completing an experiment? Read the procedure. Um, we know lab one, for example, is available. Before Wednesday, look it over. Okay? Um, read it, see what the steps might be, that sort of thing. But I'll always, I'll always share with you also. Uh, first aid. If something were to happen, let me know. And we do have our lovely little first aid kit over here. If you are to say, for example, like I said, we won't have any harsh chemicals. That's more towards the chemistry and our, you know, other classes. Um, but we do have eye wash. We do have the shower. All right. So, but, and my 20 plus years of teaching never had that happen. Okay. I mean, I've cut myself. All right, but that's because, you know, I actually did like to get some of the blood. It was fun, okay? Um, we got to, you know, expose it to the salt solution, see the cell burst, all that stuff. So it's kind of fun. Um, but other than that, we should be good, okay? So um, if you would, just make sure you initial the top, fill out the back page. Do you have any questions about any of the procedures? No? Okay. <clears throat> any questions so far about any of our housekeeping? We're going to dive in now to our actual content. Now, I, <clears throat> I do know that you probably don't have the PowerPoints, all right? That's okay, because really, the first four chapters of our textbook, they take us back to general biology, okay? So I don't want you breaking your hand trying to copy every single slide that we might look at. Because the very first chapter of our textbook anyway kind of tells us what we're going to be talking about and what we're going to be covering. So we're just going to kind of dive in, get our feet a little bit wet today, and hopefully get you guys thinking about some biology. Okay? So, once again, 
when you're ready, and depending on, and like I said, how many of you are thinking, um, like how many of the PowerPoints would I need to kind of have with me on Wednesday? Okay, all right. Um, so, when you log in, once again to your Canvas, and under those modules that I showed you, PowerPoint for Chapter 1 is already there. And what I would suggest, okay, because like I said, I know it looks like there's a lot of stuff to print off. And right now, it's just because it's initial, okay, the initial, the initial stuff. But once you print it, you've got it. You don't, you don't have to worry about it anymore. So what I would suggest when you, <clears throat> when you get ready to print your um, PowerPoints, if you don't know this already, when you go to the print option, down here where it says the full page slides, I would say do like maybe um, two slides, three slides, or sometimes what kind of is nice if you tell it to do like an outline or if you give it um, like the two slides per page. Sometimes three slides is nice because you can choose to make notes over here to the right hand side. Okay, so I wouldn't just print out one great big huge slide with all the stuff on that one page for just that one slide and then of course keep the color, okay, because I mean that's going to really wear and tear on a printer. So I would do the simplest, easiest way, okay, for printing the slides. But let's kind of jump in to some of this information that we're going to look at. The human organism, us, animals, that's what we are. We are in, you know how you do the classification, kingdom, speed, all that sort of stuff? Okay, we are in the animal kingdom, okay? One thing that I tried to point out at the very beginning, this means animal cells. Not the plant, okay, where it's got to be stacked. And plants have a cell wall, okay? We're going to find, as we move along, when you're looking at a cell, okay, and let's go ahead and get in the mindset of that animal cell. What do you think is the most important part of that cell? Ah, nucleus. Well, you can say no. Okay, I'm gonna say no. All right, I'm gonna disagree. All right, mainly because. I know that for that nucleus to work correctly, do what it does, what is it? Things have to move in and out of that plasma membrane. Do you have a question? No, I was just going to say what it actually is. Mm -hmm. The mitochondria, um, they actually are a part of the cell that pretty much work on their own. They are, but we benefit from their product, which gives us the energy for the cell. We're going to find that everything that we do for these systems of our bodies, okay, for the systems of our bodies to function and work together, it's going to happen 
at 